whenever you start a new job, this is the learning curve. Right? This applies to everybody. When you first start a job, on your first day, you're right here, okay? Month zero. You are useless to that organization. Let's be honest. Right? You're learning, you're taking in information, and they're being patient with you. Perhaps they give you a little bit of training, and perhaps they uh, introduce you to everybody in the organization. Well, over time, you move, you shift from receiving information to adding value. Okay, so over time, the curve, you will come to a turning point where you start to contribute to the organization. Right? Make sense? All of us go through that. Now the question is, this is a big investment that the organization makes. would be a shame if somebody <coughs> gets cut off here or if they never get through the learning curve. So your question is how do you get your expats through this learning curve as quickly as possible? Now, well, extended stay. They really enjoy themselves and they want to contribute maybe even longer. Typically expats come for three years. How long does it take for them to get you to, to be useful to the organization? Maybe if they want to stay five years, they become useful. They become even more useful. I've seen that a lot. Some people just never leave. They get to know India and they love India. Enhanced leadership ability. What does that mean? When someone goes through such a learning curve as this, as it is for expats coming to India, you learn a lot about yourself. There is a law of self-awareness that develops. Okay? Self-awareness and self-knowledge is one of the key leadership skills. Right? That's pretty much well known that if you understand yourself, you're going to be a more effective leader. Conversion to an India advocate. A lot of expats, they come here, they're really distressed. They're depressed, they're angry, but at some point, if they get through the curve and they get through the turning point, they become advocates. And they can be advocates for India in your global organization. Right? They can leave after six months and say, oh, you can't do business in India, it's such a mess, I don't understand how it works. Or they can get through the curve and they can say, you've got to get to India. It's so exciting. There's a lot of opportunity. Global mindset. One of your employees has a broader understanding of the world, is going to be even more effective in your global organization. What happens when they don't get through the learning curve? They never get to the contribution stage, or it's a poor contribution. One thing that I've seen a lot here is the hollow leader. Okay? Expat comes, is the figurehead. They lead the team, but are they really leading the team? No. They're circumvented. Business as usual, everything's fine. We've got our nice expat there, but they're actually not making a difference. And you know what? That leader doesn't feel satisfied either. <clears throat> Unhappy teens. I was talking to a friend of mine, an HR professional, yesterday. She said, you know, there's one expat I'm really struggling with. He doesn't want to change. He says, I'm going to behave exactly the way I do in my home country. And you know what? It's good for my team. Because then they know how their clients are. Is that going to help? So that person is completely unwilling to adapt. Unhappy, unproductive people <coughs> can't work with somebody who's not willing to adjust to the work styles of the local environment. What else happens if they never get through this learning curve? Early exit. See this all the time. 
the expat says, you know what, I'm just going to start looking for a new job. How many expats do I know who are actively looking for a new job? I've got to get out of here. You know, there's that panic. One person I know after six weeks, his wife and kids just left. They just left. They said, you know what, that's it. We can't take it. We don't understand. We're leaving. Very ungraceful exits I've seen too. Somebody missing, misbehaving, can't take it, really furious on a plane, is escorted out of the country by the government. Somebody's, maybe their latent alcoholism is just develops and they just become completely ineffective and hostile in the, in, in the office. Okay, so early exit, you never get through the curve. Here, you marginally get through the curve, but it's not a full contribution.